Hello and welcome to everybody in this particular session where we are going to see another set of optimizations and performance tuning in the Databricks. So if in case you guys want to book any one-on-one -on -one session with me, uh, maybe on the resume review or maybe an interview session or maybe a technical session, you guys can connect with me on TopMate. Apart from that, do check out my website bhavnabedi.com for any paid courses that I have launched. You guys can connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as check out lot of free and valuable content on my YouTube channel Cloud Fitness. So we have already discussed about the application performance and the general optimization techniques that we can do with the uh, data breaks. We have already talked about the Spark UI simulator. We have already talked about the five most common performance problems that we see usually in the application side. We have talked about skew in detail. We have talked about spill and shuffle as well in detail. We have also talked about storage, serialization, data skipping, the order and vacuum in detail. In the last videos, we have also talked about partitioning and deletion vectors. So in this particular video, we are going to talk about the liquid clustering. So when I talk about liquid clustering, what exactly it is? It is another very important delta table optimization technique. So what does it do? It works similar to Z order, but it is different than Z order. So delta lake liquid clustering optimizes delta tables underlining files by combining smaller files together and at the same time divide larger files to prevent long running tasks or queries. So what it is doing? It is doing the work of two things, compacting and z-ordering. Compacting means it is trying to, what it is trying to do, it is combining smaller files together into a larger and a good chunk of size of the file because reading lot of small files in a table, so let's say you have a delta table and then you have lot of small files which have very less data. It is not good because you have to scan all so, num so many number of files, right? So in that case, liquid clustering helps you by combining the smaller file together and at the same time, it divides the larger files. If you have a very large file, it divides it to prevent any long running task or query because if you have a large file, then also it's a problem. If you have a small file, then scanning of the file is problem. So it is very flexible data layout technology that improves read and write performance. So this works in combination with data skipping and the order. So it is it works in combination with data skipping and the order to optimize the query performance across multiple dimensions. So when I say that liquid clustering columns are defined at the table creation. So when I say liquid clustering. So I want to enable liquid clustering on a table. How do I do that? So while creating the table itself, I have to say that create table table one using delta cluster by, right? I have to use this word cluster by. This cluster by tells that I have enabled liquid clustering. So what this liquid clustering will do using the cluster by and inside that I will tell the columns. When I say the columns, what it will do, it will co-locate the data together. So when I say co-locate the data together, so what it will do, think about it again. So the, I have created a table, it's a delta table and I use cluster by keyword when I create the table cluster by columns right i can provide up to four columns so these four columns what it will try to do it will use those four columns it will use this four columns to make sure that the data around those four columns is located at the similar location right so if i'm saying cluster by employee location cluster by employee department so all the data that is similar in terms of employee location and in terms of employee department will be placed together so that your reads are faster. So you can see how liquid clustering has helped. It has helped in combining your small file together at the same time dividing the larger file and at the same time whatever columns you specify in the cluster by it will help to keep the data at a similar location for all, all the similar data at one location. And how do you do that? You just simply say cluster by while creating the table. So normally in the table creating uh, in the table creation statement, what you will write? 
you will write create table table name your metadata or your schema using delta right that is what you do but here you are at the end you will simply use cluster by and similarly even if you are creating an external table you can again you have to use the same keyword cluster by and it will be done similarly when you talk about cluster liquid clustering you need to make sure that the databricks runtime you are using databricks runtime 13.3 lts and above to do this right so you have to make sure that you always use databricks runtime 13.3 and above right now whenever you are doing liquid clustering optimize is automatically enabled by default so the moment you do a uh, liquid clustering it will do optimize on its own so table with liquid clustering does not allow z order and optimize it is not going to you can't run z order and optimize command why you can't run because optimize it's already doing right what does optimize do it is optimize will help to uh, create correct partitions of the data right to me optimize also does the same thing and at the same time z order what it will do it will co-locate the data together and both these two things already liquid clustering is doing right liquid clustering you are saying cluster by columns so whatever columns you specify in the cluster by it will make sure that the data related to the same columns data will be stored together so z order work it's already doing optimize is also it is already doing right it is already compacting small files right and as well as making sure that the larger files are correctly distributed so if you have enabled liquid clustering on the table you do not need to enable z order and optimize so liquid clustering uses delta writer version 7 and reader version 3 this is just for the information part you do not use liquid clustering for structured streaming tables so if your table is a structured streaming table then you do not use liquid clustering for it as it does not support clustering on write so all your streaming write tables does not allow liquid clustering whenever you have to trigger clustering you can trigger it using optimize command now you say optimize table name now this is not optimizing the table it is triggering your liquid clustering so this thing you should be aware that liquid clustering you are just triggering using the optimize table command so thank you so much guys this liquid clustering is also one of the very good opti table optimizations techniques so i and i assume that you guys have learned in this particular video as well in the next we are going to talk about predictive optimization